You didn't get into business to just survive. If you're like most business owners, you're willing to do whatever it takes to survive. I'm a Last night, my son and I were in this building changing light bulbs and AC filters. There will always be things that simply have to get done, and sometimes you have to do it. But far too often, that same whatever it takes attitude causes us to hit growth ceilings. When we focus on the immediate, we simply can't focus on the things that are required for us to keep growing. There are seven areas of your business you need to focus on to break through those ceilings and get growing again. I'll go into detail with each one of these in separate videos, but today let's look at these quickly at a high level. Let's start with number one, attraction, where you'll focus on attracting the right people into your business, your customers, your team members, and even vendors. It makes all the difference in the world when you attract the right people. Number two, conversion. If we are attracting the right people, but we're unable to convert them into clients and productive team members, we're not gonna go very far. So we've attracted the right people and converted them. Now, number three, delivery. We need to deliver on our goods and services and keep our promises. It takes real focus to ensure we give our customers a wonderful customer experience. Part of how we do that is by focusing on number four, our systems. If you are the focal point in most of your company's systems, or worse, if your systems are all in your head, we've got to get them well documented and followed by everyone on your team. Speaking of team, let's look at number five, your culture. Every company has a culture, some good, some not so good. Defining and nurturing your company's culture is one of the most important roles you have as the leader. Next. Let's look at my least favorite focus area. Number six, administration. I can't stand doing paperwork or making sure every I is dotted and T crossed, but that doesn't matter. Taxes need to be paid, forms need to be filed, and if you don't give the administrative obligations their proper focus, it can really slow you down. Finally, let's talk about number seven, you. I call this area of focus personal because business is personal. There are many reasons we go into business, but I believe when you strip everything away and you get down to the biggest reason you got into business, it's because you want freedom. Remember, as you grow, your company grows. Keep growing.